Hi, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do cross-platform upload for VRChat avatars. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the Unity website. And we're going to want to go to download other versions. And then you're going to want to go to the visit download archive. Make sure you go to the Unity 2019 tab. And then you want to scroll all the way down until you find the 2019.4.31. And then you want to go to the Windows tab and hit Install Unity Installer. And same for the other versions. Now when you do um, go through the install, you want to make sure you do both Windows and Android Builder. Now the next thing you're going to need is uh, most commonly used shaders is Poyomi. Um, they have a link to their Discord on their Patreon, um, which is where they also do their pro shaders, um, which sometimes you have to purchase for avatars. And that Discord link is right there. Okay. Uh, next thing you're going to do is go to the vrchat.com website, go to the downloads tab, and install the creator companion. Um, that is what I'm going to be using today to do this install. Okay, what you're going to want to do is go to projects and make a new project. Now I'm going to be using Viper by Wolfles today. So I just typed in Viper and then I'm going to go to avatar project. Um, you want to use that since we're uploading avatars. So you're going to hit create project. And that's going to show you um, all of the add-ons that you can install. Um, it automatically is going to install the SDK for you, which is what you need. Um, there is an option for Gesture Manager, which is what you would use to preview your gestures and toggles in-game to make sure that all of those work correctly. But again, all you're going to really need is the first few things that it's already got preloaded for you. And then we're just going to go to open product. And Unity is a bit slow, so that's going to take a minute to load. So I will cut to when it loads up. OK, now that it's loaded up, you'll see that you have your VRChat SDK here. And then the first thing we're going to do is import the shaders. We're just going to hit import, and we're going to cut past the importing because that also takes a minute. So once it is imported, the next thing you're going to want to do is import your avatar. Okay, then we're just going to hit import again, and I'm going to skip to the part where this is imported. Okay, now that this is imported, um, you're going to want to click open me scene, if it says that. Uh, some avatar creators do have you drag the prefab into the hierarchy, which you can find the prefab under the avatars folder itself. Now you'll see here that um, this avatar creator has already added Coco Loco, but if you wanted me to do a video on that, um, please do let me know. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the SDK and sign in. Okay, once you have signed in, you want to make sure that there's no present issues there that you have to auto fix. And then you want to go ahead and detach that blueprint ID. Otherwise, it's going to give you a blueprint ID error when you go to upload. We're going to go back to the SDK and we're going to make sure, again, that there's no issues there. Um, you want to auto fix anything that's red, but just ignore the one that says that there's like shader custom keywords. 
Um, that one you don't have to worry about. And then we're going to go down and we're going to hit Build and Publish for Windows. And then you want to go ahead and click Yes on the Thry settings here, the recommended. Okay, so it actually gave us a prefab error, which is good because I can show you how to fix this. So Poyomi sometimes has issues. Um, you just want to go into the Poyomi shader folder, go to scripts, and then select the Thry Editor folder and delete it. So now we're going to try and upload again. And it has given us another error. Um, it looks like this avatar creator did include the SDK for you. So we're going to head and go and delete that since uh, the creator companion includes the SDK already. Going to go ahead and build and publish again. And then as you can see, it is now uploading successfully. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to the scene. So here is where you're going to want to name your avatar. Um, this is again Viper by Wuffles. You can see the photo there. Um, if it is messed up, uh, there's usually a camera in the scene. You can drag that around to fix the view on the photo. Now, this avatar is SFW, but if you have an NSFW avatar, you want to click that and then go ahead and check mark that box and hit upload. And this does take just a second. Okay, now you can see it says upload complete. Um, go ahead and hit OK. All right, and now that that is done, uh, what you're going to want to do is go back to the Creator Companion, go back to Projects, and create a new project. Always create a new project when doing the quest upload. And I always name it quest so that I know that that's what that is. Again, we're going to go ahead and click on Avatar Project, Create Project, and then Unity is going to take its time um, uploading. Okay, now once this project is open, the only thing you need to do for the quest side of the upload is import the quest version of the avatar. Sometimes avatar creators will include both the quest and the PC version in one file. So you just want to import that same file if so, and um, find the quest version and upload that. Again, we're just going to go ahead and hit import. Now that this has imported, I'm going to go ahead and click the Open Me Scene again. Click on the avatar, look at the inspector. You can see the avatar here is a little more optimized for Quest. That's what it looks like. And then we're going to go to the SDK and sign in again. Once you've signed in, you're going to hit Switch Build Target to Android. Always make sure you do that when doing the Quest upload. Okay. 
Now that this has converted to Android, you can see that it's a switch build target back to Windows. That's how you know it's Android. Gonna go to the inspector and detach the blueprint ID. Go to content manager, find your PC upload and hit copy ID. Go back to the inspector and paste that ID into the blueprint line and hit attach. Now remember the specific avatar, um, the VR SDK is included, so we're going to delete that. Um, normally you don't have to unless it's included uh, when using the creator companion. Okay. I'm going to go back here, go to Builder, and Build and Publish for Android. Now we're back at the same screen, you'll see that it is pre-filled out because we copied that ID. Um, if it doesn't show that it's pre-filled out, you probably did not copy and paste that blueprint ID from the PC upload. Okay. As you can see, the upload is complete, so now your avatar should be both PC and Quest compatible. Um, that is all for the tutorial. I will be linking both the avatar um, and Waffle Shop, and then as well as my Discord link, where I can help you further. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Um, I do apologize if the video is a little janky or if the audio, audio quality is bad. Um, this is my first video. Uh, but again, if you need any help, my Discord is going to be in the video description.